So what's the best way to clean up the extruder for the MakerBot Replicator 2X? So one quick um, solution I found is simply follow the ex in extruder disassembly instructions. All right, so once you basically get your uh, extruder open like this, you know, the, the hole that's completely in the open, right? So I was just lazy, you know, I did uh, quite a few attempts for uh, disassembling uh, the extruder setup and I simply just put this thing out because it's really, really hard to unplug these things and I didn't want to damage the, uh, the plug uh, over time because, you know, unplugging and replugging it all the time. So I just basically just uh, let it hang in here because uh, Otherwise, there's a wear and tear on this thing. All right, now, so the easiest way is to use one of these uh, acetones. So if you get acetone, uh, I don't know, this is like a, not a big bottle, but at the same time, it does the job. It's a nail polish removal, remover. So what you use in order to clean up this hole, the extruder hole, this particular hole, uh, let me get the focus here going. So by pushing, uh, you get four Allen wrenches, right? That came with your replicator, okay? So one of these that actually is the thinnest one out of all of these, right? What you do is you take it and then you stick it in into the extruder hole and you push the filament, you know, whatever uh, is obstructing the filament when you're feeding, uh, when you're loading the filament, right? So you basically keep push it in, push it in, push it in until all of the stuff is coming out just like you see here. I don't know if you can see well here. But basically the, the filament is going to be coming out. Be careful not to burn your fingers when you pull this thing out. So if you can see, I've never, I've never really, really used brown uh, ever since we got the uh, the replicator. But there's still brown coming out, and it seems like it's from the the point when the uh, the factory assembled this thing. So it seems like that brown uh, sat in there, brown filament sat in there for some time, and it just clogged the. Uh, the tube. See all this stuff that's accumulating here? Okay. What I use is I use these pliers. Not pliers, but uh, tweezers. And, you, and I just remove that crap that accumulated on it. Okay. I'm just being quick here. Okay. So anytime you get into an issue of when it's no more coming out from the bottom okay when the filament is no more coming out like the clogged filament right okay basically i hit the bottom rock it's like nothing there you know it's it's not sticking or anything like that uh rule of thumb is when it's when the bottom of this thing is sticking to the very bottom of the extruder chances are there's still crap in it you know what i mean so what you need to do is you see right now nothing's coming out from the extruder let me just try to focus on this thing this camcorder is old so okay so you see it's clear right now just to be on the safe side what i would do is i would i would dip I would dip this thing, okay, the Allen wrench, into the acetone. And why you would ask acetone helps? It does help because basically this is the, this is what melts the plastic, ABS. So I just dipped it in and I'm putting it into the extruder hole. And as you could see, 
everything is nice and clean nothing it's completely like if I if I had a choice I would literally pour that acetone right into that hole the extruder hole but I don't have like a, anything useful that I can just basically channel the acetone from the bottle into there so I just dip that uh, allen wrench into the acetone and I push it in that's basically it and that takes care of the issue and now there's no more filament in that canal